here's a lesson for section 3.7, the distributive property. So what the distributive property is, it's a way of multiplying a monomial by a polynomial. And in this example here, I'm multiplying a monomial by a binomial, to be more specific. So when you apply the distributive property, what you're doing is you're getting rid of the brackets by multiplying everything inside the brackets by the term in front of the brackets. So if I want to do a times x plus y, and the x plus y is in brackets, I must multiply each of the terms inside the brackets. So I must multiply the x and the y by the term out front. So I need to essentially, I need to distribute this a to the x and to the y. That's why it's called the distributive property. So distribute the term in front to each of the terms on the inside. So I need to do a times x, which gives me ax, plus I need to do a times y, which gives me a y. So let's look at this example here. If I want to do 5 times 4x plus 2, I must multiply each of the terms inside the brackets, so the 4x and the 2, by the term in front of the brackets. So I need to distribute this 5 to the 4x and to the 2. 5 times 4x is 20x, that's where this comes from, and then I need to distribute the 5 to the 2. 5 times 2 is positive 10. That's why I have this 10 here. So, once again, to summarize that, to apply the distributive property for this question, I had to multiply both of the terms inside the bracket by the 5 that is out front. So I distributed the 5 to both of the terms inside the brackets. Let's try a couple questions now. So if I want to do 2 times 5x plus 3, I need to multiply both of the terms inside the brackets here by the term that's out front. So I need to distribute this 2 to the 5x and the 3 to get rid of the brackets here. So 2 times 5x is 10x. 2 times 3 gives me 6. And that's fully simplified. I can't simplify that any further. Let's do the next one. So I need to I want to do negative 2 times 7x minus 4. I need to multiply each of the terms inside the brackets by the term out front. So distribute the negative 2 to the 7x and to the negative 4. And I put a little note here. Make sure to include the negative sign when you're distributing this negative 2 here. So I multiply the 7x by negative 2, not just by 2. Include that negative sign. So negative 2 times 7x gives me negative 14x. And negative 2 times negative 4, negative times negative, gives me positive, positive 8. So negative 14x plus 8. I have multiplied the monomial by the binomial. The brackets are gone because I applied the distributive property. Another question. This time I'm multiplying a monomial by a trinomial. So we can use the distributive property here as well. We can use the distributive property whenever we're multiplying a monomial by any type of polynomial. So in order to do that, each of the terms inside the brackets, in this case there are three terms, so it's a trinomial, we must multiply each of these three terms by the term out front. So let's distribute this negative 3 to each of the terms inside the bracket. So negative 3 times 2x squared is negative 6x squared. Negative 3 times negative 5x gives me positive 15x. And negative 3 times positive 4 gives me negative 12. And I can't simplify that any further because these three terms are not like terms. Let's do another question where we'll have to just apply the distributive property twice. So to get rid of these brackets, to get rid of this first set of brackets, I'm going to have to distribute the 2 to the 6m and the negative 3. To get rid of the second set of brackets, so to do 3 times 16 plus 4m, I must distribute the 3 to the 16 and to the 4m. So let's go ahead and do that. 2 times 6m is 12m. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Now I need to distribute the 3 into this second set of brackets. 3 times 16 will give me 48. And 3 times 4 will give me 12m. 3 times 4m, I should say, gives me 12m. So after I use the distributive property, my brackets are all gone. Now don't forget, I put a note here, I can collect like terms if there are like terms to collect. So look for terms that have the exact same variables with the exact same exponents. Well, I've got a 12m, and I've got another 12m here. I will be able to collect those together. I'll rewrite them in a group so I can see that. And then I have a negative 6 
plus a 48. I'll be able to collect these two together as well. Constant terms are like terms as well. So 12m plus 12m, I now have 24m. Negative 6 plus 48 gives me 42. So now this is fully simplified. Don't stop right here. Make sure, make sure before, um, before you're done, make sure there are no like terms you can collect. In this case, there were like terms I could collect to simplify this further. So if there are like terms, always collect them to simplify. So this is fully simplified now. 24m plus 42. So, second part. So we know in the first few questions, we were distributing constant terms. So I distributed a 2, a 3, in this case I distributed a negative 3. Now the term in front of the brackets is going to be a variable. So in order to distribute variables, we're going to have to remember our exponent laws. So if I want to do x times x squared minus 3, follow the same rules. We're going to use the distributive property to multiply a monomial by a polynomial. Each of the terms inside the brackets needs to be multiplied by the term out front, so we need to distribute the x to the x squared and to the negative 3. x times x squared gives me x cubed. If you don't remember why that is, let's just look at this box over here. We have to remember our exponent law. So in this case, I'm doing x times x squared. And remember, if you don't see an exponent on a variable, there's an invisible one there. So I have x to the 1 times x squared. When you're multiplying powers that have the same base, we can use the product rule. The product rule tells us when multiplying powers with the same base, you keep the base the same and you add the exponents. 1 plus 2 is 3. That's why x to the 1 times x to the 2 is x to the 3. So when we multiply powers with the same base, we keep the base the same, add the exponents. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then x times negative 3 is just negative 3x. Okay. So let's try a couple questions um, where there's a variable in front of the brackets. So I have x times x minus 3. So to get rid of these brackets, I have to, I have to use the distributive property. Distribute the x to each of the terms inside the brackets. x times x, so x to the 1 times x to the 1 gives me x squared because 1 plus 1 is 2. Then x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Next, I have negative x times 7x. Don't forget this negative here. So I have negative x times 7x. That gives me negative 7x squared. Because x times x will give me x squared. Negative, think of this as a negative 1 in front of the x. Negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. x times x is x squared. Now I need to do negative 1x times, so I distribute it to the 7x. Now I have to distribute it to the negative 4. So negative 1x times negative 4, negative times negative gives me positive 4x. 4 times x is just 4x. So negative 1x times negative 4 is positive 4x. So that is fully simplified now. I can't collect these two terms together because the variables have different exponents. So they're not like terms. Okay, now the term in front is going to have a coefficient and a variable. We have to distribute this whole thing, a negative 3x. You have to distribute that to all of the terms inside the brackets to get rid of the brackets. So negative 3x times 2x squared, negative 3x times negative 5x, and negative 3x times 4. So let's do that to get rid of the brackets. So negative 3x times 2x squared, well negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. x times x squared, add the exponents, 1 plus 2 is 3, so it's x cubed. Negative 3x times negative 5x. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. x times x is x squared. Negative 3x times positive 4 will give me negative 12x. And that's fully simplified. None of these are like terms. Since all the variables have different exponents, I cannot collect any of them together. Okay. So now, in this question, I have 3m times m minus 5 minus... 2m squared minus m. So you can think back to last lesson when we were subtracting polynomials and use that property um, for this part of the question here. Or you can think of there being a negative 1 here. If you don't see a number, think of there being an invisible 1 there. And when we get rid of these brackets here, we'll distribute that negative 1 to each of those terms. That's how I like to think of it. So 
To do 3m times m minus 5, we must multiply each of the terms inside the brackets by the term out front. So we must do 3m times m, which will give me 3m squared. And do 3m times negative 5, which will give me negative 15m. Now to get rid of the second set of brackets, I must distribute this negative 1. So negative 1 times 2m squared gives me negative 2m squared. Negative 1 times negative m, negative times negative, gives me positive m. Now, in this case, I do have some like terms I can, simpl I can collect, collect together and simplify. So I have a 3m squared and a negative 2m squared. I have a negative 15m and a positive m. Let's collect our like terms. 3m squared take away 2m squared. I'm left with 1m squared. Negative 15m plus 1m gives me negative 14m. And that's fully simplified now. Number 10. So this one's probably the trickiest because it has some fractions involved, but it's not too bad. So the term in front of the brackets are fractions this time. Let's just follow the same properties. If I want to get rid of these brackets and simplify this question, I just need to distribute what's in front of the brackets to everything inside the brackets. So I need to distribute this half to 2w and to the negative 6. I need to distribute this negative 2 thirds to the 9w and to the negative 6. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have a half times 2w plus a half times negative 6. And then to get rid of these brackets, I'll distribute the negative 2 thirds. So I have negative 2 thirds times 9w. I can write that better, sorry. 9w, and then negative 2 thirds times negative 6. Okay, now we have a bunch of fractions that we can simplify here. So I have a half times 2w. That gives me, well, I'm going to simplify this. I have a 2 divided by 2. Those cancel, so I'm just left with 1w. So I'm left with 1w, which is just w, plus I have a half of negative 6. Half of negative 6 is negative 3. A positive and a minus beside each other change to a minus. Now I have negative 2 thirds times 9w. I can do some canceling here. So I have a 9 over 3. 9 over 3 simplifies to 3. So what I have now, I have minus 2 times 3w. So you notice now my fraction is gone in that part, so that makes it easier. And then over here, I have negative 2 thirds times negative 6. Well, this will simplify negative 6 over 3 is negative 2. So I have minus 2 times negative 2. Now let's simplify this. Sorry, I'm doing different colors here. w minus 3, what's negative 2 times 3w? It's negative 6w, and then I have negative 2 times negative 2 gives me positive 4. This is looking a lot easier now. So I have to collect my like terms. w minus 6w is negative 5w. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. So I have negative 5w plus 1 once that is all simplified. Okay, last part of this lesson is when we have nested brackets, they're called. So when you see two sets of brackets, so when you see brackets inside of even bigger brackets, when you see a question like this, what you need to do is just start from the inside and work your way out. So let's start from the innermost set of brackets and get rid of those by using the distributive property. So to get rid of these brackets on the inside, these ones right here, I'm going to distribute this 5 to the 2k and the negative 1. I'm going to keep everything else the same, keep that 3 the same, Keep this bracket, 2 plus, distribute the 5 to the 2k, I get 10k. Distribute the 5 to the negative 1, I get negative 5. So those innermost brackets are gone now because I distributed the term out front of the brackets to each of the terms inside the brackets. So now inside the brackets, I have 2 plus 10k minus 5. What I'm going to do now, there's a couple things we could do. Um, I'm going to simplify inside these brackets first. So I have a 2 and a negative 5. I can collect those together. 
2 minus 5 is negative 3. So I'm going to simplify the 2 minus 5 to just a negative 3. Now what I need to do to get rid of this second set of brackets, I need to distribute the term in front of the brackets to each of the terms inside the brackets. So 3 times 10k is 30k. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And there, that's fully simplified. That one's not too bad at all. So just remember, start from the innermost brackets, get rid of those using distributive property, and then get rid of the second set of brackets using distributive property. Okay, and just make sure you go to jensenmath.ca and get the worksheet that goes along with this to make sure you understand the material, and let me know if you have any questions.